In about a half hour's time, Elizabeth Warren is going to come and sit in exactly that chair, and mm -hmm. she is going to say, I suspect, that the Fed just got it wrong by raising interest rates by a quarter point. Would you agree with her or disagree with her? I would disagree. Um, look, uh, Elizabeth is whip smart, but uh, we, we don't agree on the economics. Forget the politics. We don't agree on the economics of this. Um, to, to tame inflation, we're going to have to raise interest rates. We would not have to raise them as high as I have, ex have explained or tried to explain to Elizabeth uh, if Congress would reduce the rate of growth of spending and debt accumulation. That's not just Kennedy saying that. That's history. Since 1950, we've had uh, 10 periods of disinflation where it was too high. We got it down. We never succeeded without attacking problem, the problem on both the monetary side of the fiscal, and the fiscal side. So, in effect, what I'm saying is that if, if, if you vote against reducing the rate of growth of spending and debt accumulation, you are voting for higher interest rates. Powell's going to have to raise rates much higher than he normally would have if Congress would, would slow the stimulus of spending. But there is little appetite. Uh, apart on the GOP side, there's an appetite for cutting spending, but but it's not going to go through. Oh, the they Senate. talk a good game. They talk a but, good but, game, but, but but for a lot of my my, my Republican colleagues, um, you know, it's like going to heaven. They all want to go, but they don't want to take the trip <laughs> right now. They want to wait a while. And and sure, there's a lot of hypocrisy, but you can't have it both ways. I, look, Powell's going to get inflation down. He may have to raise rates as high as eight to ten percent, and I can exp I won't take the time now, but I ex can explain to you why that's realistic. But the more we can do on the spending side to help Powell on his side, the the the, the less he's going to have to raise interest rates. And keep in mind, it's this is not just a sterile statistic. We're talking about putting people out of work. Sure, this is this is these are this is flesh and bones here. No, it's yeah. a great point, especially you go back to look at 2021, you know, when you had both fiscal and monetary going full blast, and that's Tell how you get right. to a 9% CPI. Right. And we lose sight of that. I don't want to ask you about this, but I have to. Ask and me anything you, you want to ask me. forcing me to. The debt ceiling, even if you want to force people to restrain spending for sure. all of the good reasons that you cited, sure. is the debt ceiling showdown really what the economy needs right now? Uh, oh, I, I hope we can avoid it. I'm not going to vote, ultimately not to pay uh, 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 America's debt. Now, look, I didn't vote for a lot of this debt, but, but it, was, it, it was incurred lawfully. And I'm not going to vote to default. But you, you can have that position and at the same time understand the way that the debt ceiling and inflation are inextricably linked through spending. And I'm, I mean, President Biden, you don't have to be Mensa material to figure all this out. I mean, President Biden said forever the Republicans don't have a plan. Now we have a plan. Uh, now it's time for him to sit down with McCarthy and have an adult discussion about how you allocate scarce resources and reduce inflation. And I don't think you can do it without reducing the rate of growth of So the Speaker and, and the President will meet next week yep. uh, and uh, presumably begin some of this conversation. How would you break the logjam that is built around this idea that the, the Democrats want a so-called clean debt ceiling uh, release or, mm -hmm. or change uh, tied to nothing? Uh, in terms of spending cuts, how do you how do you break that Gordian knot? Well, let me say first, and it, nothing's going to happen in the Senate. I can tell you, they're not 60 votes either way. We're waiting to see the House of what's going to happen with the House and the and the, the President. I think it's clear that the, the House is going to have to give some, but the President's going to have to give some. I mean, if he thinks that McCarthy and the Republicans in the House are just going to agree to, to, to raise the debt ceiling without slowing the rate of growth of spending, he's living in long.